all background, what we did was we, um, in order to investigate this, we conducted a, a large online survey of chess players. Hmm. Um, we got several thousand people to, to fill out our survey. And we basically asked them a bunch of questions. But the most crucial question was, what's your current rating? And we did FIDE ratings and US ratings um, separately. Hmm. What's your current rating? And what should your rating be to reflect your true skill level in chess? Uh -huh. So we asked basically everyone for two numbers, like what's your current rating and what rating would reflect how good you actually are at chess. True level. On average, people think their ratings should be 100 points higher than they actually are. Okay. 100. The average person thinks that they are underrated by 100 points. Okay. And I have to admit, I think I should be higher rated than, than I am too. Me too, of course. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, um, and it turns out also that the Dun we did find this sort of Dunning-Kruger pattern, which is that lower rated players think they are more underrated. They think maybe they should be like 150 points, uh -huh. you know, higher than they are. Higher rated players, it actually goes all the way down pretty much to zero. So oh. like the 2600s and the 2700s, they basically think their rating is correct. Okay. Um, I remember hearing an interview with Sam Shankland. I think it was maybe on Ben Johnson's podcast or something mm -hmm. where he, he basically said, yeah, he was like 2710. And he said, yeah, maybe like maybe I should be 2730, but but no right. higher than that. So he's only 20 points, you know, and, and right. I would maybe trust him better than other players to have an idea what their strengths should actually be. But I think we're sort of all like in some time susceptible to this overconfidence mm. bias. It's... It's a very ubiquitous bias that's seen in all kinds of other areas. Chess is a really nice one to study it in because we do happen to have this rating system, which is yeah. one of the almost only objective measures of skill 